there comes a point in time where I bring up tracheotomy and ventilation. Patients need to know what it is, not be fearful of it, so that they can make an educated decision on whether they want to move forward with that or not. Uh, lots of patients don't even understand what it is, so we like to give them a video that shows patients that have had it and are using it um, so that they understand that. But I think it's very important to not only discuss what um, a tracheotomy and ventilation specifically means for them. I think quality of life is huge for all patients, um, regardless of the disease. But in this disease specifically, ventilation is an option to um, continue to live your life, but doesn't always come with the best quality of life. So I want patients to be aware that um, a ventilator can breathe for you, but you're also connected to it 24 seven. Um, you don't always have the opportunity to come and go as you please with that. Um, and so I want the patients to be able to ask those questions so they're very aware of what their limitations might be with choosing that option. I also think it's very important to discuss that option with the caregiver as well, because when a patient chooses ventilation, that becomes a 24-hour job for the caregiver. Um, a patient can never be left alone uh, with a ventilator, and they need to understand that even their caregiver uh, needs time to sleep, shower, uh, go to the grocery, those sorts of things, and they cannot be left alone in that situation. So there are lots of extenuating circumstances attached to a ventilator that patients need to be very aware of, uh, cost incurred as well. And I think that once patients have all of those pieces of information, it helps them make a decision.